Hi Sparta Yogis, I'm going to record the pose of the week this week, I'm trying out some uh, video format and um, I'm also in my new yoga room and my husband has been uh, working hard away at preparing for me. So um, today's pose, I'll, it, Supta Padabhustasana means lying um, big toe pose and you can um, I'm going to do this video so that you're able to do it right along with me today. So we'll do all parts of it. First lie in Sukta Tadasana. In Sukta Tadasana, bring your heels and big toes together. Keep the thighs rolling in as you press them down and reach up through the feet. Keeping the thighs down, you're going to stretch your arms overhead, reaching away from you and down towards the floor. As you do this, as you reach through your hands and feet, draw the front ribs down. Draw the abdomen slightly down as you extend the side trunk. And take a few breaths here. On your next exhalation, you'll bring your arms back down, keeping the left thigh rolled in and pressing down, hug your right knee into your chest. If you have any knee trouble, you can hold the back of the hamstring, otherwise hold the shin, and pulling the right knee in, keep extending through your left leg. And we're gonna start with just the bent knee position. So from this position, we're gonna take the knee out to the side and bring that foot into the left inner thigh. So it looks a little bit like Vrikshasana or the tree pose. Again, keep the bottom thigh rolling in and pressing down. And as you extend the right knee out, contract or tighten that right buttock, it'll push into the floor as you open up the hips. And bring that knee back into your trunk. And then we're gonna cross the midline. So take the right arm out to the side and keeping the left thigh rolled in, the right arm and shoulder down, take the right leg over to the left. So you're crossing the midline. back up to the center and now we're going to stretch the leg straight if you're able to hold the big toe you'll hold the big toe with your first two fingers and thumb arm on the right arm right hand on the inside of your right leg and then you'll stretch the leg straight now in order to do this you have to get both legs straight and the right shoulder should be coming down towards the floor so if that's not possible get a yoga belt you can use a strap or um, a regular belt too if you don't have a yoga strap and give yourself an extension if you need to. The important thing is to keep both legs straight. Draw both shoulders down toward the floor. So again, starting at the very top here, you're in Supta Padabhusasana 1. Hold on to the strap with your, or just hold your big toe with your right hand, left arm out to the side. Supta Padabhusasana 2. So leg comes out to the side, then when you come out to the side, again, keep that um, right buttock contracted, push it into the floor, open up that right hip, and press the left thigh down. Keep the left hip, try to keep your shoulder and even your left back waist on the floor. Let's come back up to the top, switch hands. So your left hand is holding the strap or your foot, right arm comes out to the side, keeping the left thigh rolled in. Keeping the right arm, shoulder down, Cross the midline again, so taking the right leg over to the left. Just start by going a little ways at first, and then you can bring the leg a little bit lower. And as the leg goes over to the right, the lower abdomen goes with the leg. But inhale, extend the trunk from the thigh, and then exhale, turn the upper abdomen back to the right. So you get a little bit of a twist. Now come back up to the top. Now everyone will bend the knee. Take a hold of your right foot with your left hand. If that's not possible, you'll hold the strap. But here you want to rotate in the right hip, bringing that right knee away from you and your left foot towards you. Now, if you want a little bit of a challenge, you continue to hold the foot or the strap with your right hand, lift your trunk up from your abdomen, bring your leg closer to your trunk, and bring the arm behind the head. Stretch your leg back up and release 
Bringing the leg back to Sutta Tadasana. Wait in Sutta Tadasana for a moment. Maybe feel that your right leg feels a little bit different than your left leg. And now we'll do the other side. So keeping the right thigh rolled in and pressing down, bring the left knee into your chest. Again, we'll start with just the bent knee position. Now take the knee out to the side, bring the left foot into the right inner thigh. Like you're doing a tree pose, Vrikshasana lying down. And as you push the foot into the thigh, tighten that left buttock, pushing it into the floor to open the left hip. Bring the knee back into the trunk. And now we're gonna cross the body. So take the left arm out to the side, and with your right hand, pull that left leg over across the body to the right. Strongly roll the bottom thigh in. And as you take the leg over to the right, keep the left arm, left shoulder blade on the floor. And come back up to the top. And now we'll stride with your leg straight. So now take your strap or hold your big toe with your first two fingers and thumb and come back to the first position. Supta Padabhusasana 1. Press both legs straight. Front thighs to the back thighs, kneecaps to the back of the knees and draw your shoulders, both shoulder blades down to the floor. Now we're gonna take it out to the side again. So hold the strap or your foot still with your, just your left hand, right arm out to the side. And now keep pressing that left thigh away from you as you take it out to the side, keep the right side down. So right thigh, right buttock, right hip, right shoulder, even your right back waist. And even here, as you tighten the left kneecap, pull that left thigh all the way into your left buttock. Tighten that left buttock, tucking it underneath you, pushing it into the floor to open up the hips from the left to the right. Then bring the leg back up to this top. You're gonna to switch hands, whether you're holding your foot or holding the strap. So hold on with your right hand, switch your left arm out. Strongly roll the bottom thigh in and take the leg across the body. Now as the left leg goes across to the right, keep reaching through your left hand. Keep the left shoulder. Keep as many of your left back ribs down as you can. So the lower abdomen is going with the left foot, but then exhale and turn the abdomen, upper abdomen back to the left. Now come back up to the top and bend knee position. So now you're going to bring that left foot towards you as you take the left knee away. You can see here I'm using my elbow to help me. You can also use the strap if you're unable to get the foot. So you should feel a good stretch in the glute in the left hip. Now again, if you want more of a challenge, you'll hold the strap with your left hand. Inhale, exhale, lift the trunk up to meet the leg. Bring the leg to the trunk and bring the arm behind the head. And release and stretch the leg back. Release the strap. Come back to Sutta Tadasana. One last time, Urdhvahasasana in Sutta Tadasana. And exhale and come back. Bend the knees, bring your feet flat, roll to your side, and push yourself up to a seated position. So, I did this so that you could practice the pose along with me. I went through the steps of the pose pretty um, quickly. Um, so you're welcome to repeat this and spend a little bit more time in each one of the positions. And uh, remember this, if you just want to lie down and take Sutta Padabhusdasana, Sutta Padabhusdasana on your own or in your practice. I hope you're all doing well. And... Um, Please um, feel free to contact me, even if it's in an email. I would love to hear how you're doing. Namaste.